Praise be to Jesus. Good morning, friends. Today, the feast of the Most Holy Trinity. Readings are Romans 5, verses 1 to 5. Gospel of St. John, chapter 16, verses 12 to 15. When the Spirit of Truth comes, He will guide you into all the truth. All that the Father has is mine. Verses 13 and 15. Jesus has revealed to us the mystery of the Holy Trinity. Jesus taught us to call God Abba, Father. He promised that he would send to us from the Father, the Holy Spirit, the Consoler. Through the sacraments, especially through baptism, we have been made one with the Father, Son and the Holy Spirit. We pray in the name of the Father, Son and the Holy Spirit. We do every activity in the name of the Father, Son and the Holy Spirit. Abraham visited by God in the form of three young men. God appeared to Abraham by the ox of Mamre in the form of three young men. Genesis 18, chapter 18, verse 1. Holy Trinity is a mystery which we may not be able to comprehend by our intellect. One may have the experience of the presence of the Holy Spirit, Holy Trinity in one's heart by love. The mystery of triune God. God is one triune. The only one God exists in three co-equal, co-eternal, consubstantial, divine persons, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Three different persons share one essence or one nature, the Father and the Son, who is the image of the Father, and the Holy Spirit, who proceeds from the Father and the Son. The Trinitarian life of the believer. Holy Trinity is a dynamic reality. Father loves the Son. Son loves the Father. The love between the Father and the Son itself is the Holy Spirit. When we keep the commandments of Jesus, Jesus and the Father come to us and dwell in our hearts. The Holy Spirit too comes into us. The disciple is raised to a Trinitarian communion. Jesus is in the Father, Father is in Jesus, and both Father and the Son are in the believer, and the believer is in the Father and the Son. And the Holy Spirit too dwells in that person. That person enters into a Trinitarian communion. Let us pray. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Lord God the Father, illumine our minds, and enkindle our hearts, and strengthen us in our faith so that we may worship, we may believe in the Holy Trinity forever and ever. Amen.